Uh, welcome back to Career Build Series Part 47. This is uh, the continuation of our submarine here. Uh, really like to get going in the career world and get ourselves uh, over to the new content. So um, we're working on that. So kind of coming up with the basic shape of the submarine here. Um, you know, currently in the ballasting phase. Um, let's keep working on the ballasting here. So I think we had this set at 80. As you can see, we're pretty close to neutral buoyancy there. Let's go. Um, let's go 85. I don't want to go. I don't want to overshoot it and have to undershoot it. So let's go 85. Close there. We're real close there. Now remember, we're going to be adding more weight too. The, we're not taking away any more weight. We're only adding pretty much at this point. So as you can see, we're adding water, but we're uh, we're also going to be adding more mass too. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we're getting to the point where we're close. All right, let's go to 100%. And I think 100% sinks it. So we're close where we were at. We're within between 90 and 100%, I think, is neutral buoyancy. Okay, so there we go. Ooh, might. Beautiful. 100% looks like neutral points. Or, yeah. 100% neutral buoyancy. That's awesome because we're going to be adding more mass to this. All right. Bingo. All right. So let's get working on... Um, all right. I really want to work on systems. I enjoy working on systems. So let's make this air volume a little bit bigger here. Um, I have the space for it. So let's do that. Um, uh, what did I just delete? I don't even know. Okay. Um, let's go like this. Okay. Okay. We need to add in a gas, or I'm sorry, diesel engine um, to be able to uh, recharge the uh, batteries. And so we're going to kind of come up with some elaborate systems. And so um, let's start working on this. So we're going to do modular as everything is that I do. Um, I want to try to keep the center of gravity towards the front here. We did a bunch of work to get that center of gravity forwards. I don't, I can always, I can take things out like batteries in the back here. We don't need that many batteries um, to account for that. So let's put it in this tail section. This tail section is pretty open. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's start working on a modular here. Um, just need a regular belt drive because this is just a generator. Belt drive goes in, crankshaft, one by one crankshaft, one, two. Um, I don't know how big this motor is going to have to be. We're going we're gonna to want to recharge pretty fast, so let's make this a reasonably a reasonable size motor. Um, so this looks like a 12-cylinder here. No, I'm sorry, 8-cylinder. Um, I said 12, I meant 8. Okay, there's an eight right there. Uh, let's go clutch, gearbox, um, right, facing towards the engine, the gearbox shell, and then generator. Uh, let's do a medium generator. I think that's going to give us better efficiency. Um, I should have checked weight before I did that. Let me go, let me just back it up. Check the mass, and then let's check. Uh, so 2535, and then we're at uh, 2695. So we added a pretty good bit of mass in the in the stern there. Okay, um, I don't want it sinking. I want it sitting up top. So I need to cancel out my ballast. All right. So like I said, we're only adding weight at this point. We're not really taking any weight away. I could also add. Okay, that's actually, it's not sitting too bad. It's a little bit tail heavy. Okay, I can also turn this up on end and make it vertical, which is what I think I'll do. Um, yeah, I think I'll turn this up vertically. I have the space. It also keeps my center of gravity nice and tight and close to the front. And, uh, you know, there's no reason why I don't need to do that. Okay, let me... See if I have the space for this. I may have the space if I get it up. Oh, come on, dude. I'm pulling on the right thing. You're just doing it wrong. Okay, there we go. Uh, I can have one more space. So that will fit vertically in this compartment here. 
beautiful. That puts my center of gravity more where I want it. A little bit weird looking, but uh, whatever. Um, yep, that will get us going here. Um, so that's going to be our power generation. Um, pretty much right in the middle is where our center of gravity is. That's sitting pretty nicely there. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to add fuel tanks. I'm trying to think. If I add fuel tanks here, will they block the ballast area? This is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add um, fuel tanks here. Tank. A couple mediums. Try to, you know, I want these tanks as close to the center of gravity as possible just because that's going to make it so that I... Um, I don't want to have to worry about... Um, I really don't want to have to worry about as they drain, switch, changing my CG up too much. What do large tanks look like here? No, too big. Okay. We put mediums here. Let's go like this, and then I will... Um, Okay, I can do that. That seals up, that will seal up my ballast tanks. And then let's see if this, um, come on, give me the right block, man. I pressed it three times. Um, a little frustrating. Um, and then let's see if that seals. Let me fill these back up to 100, and then I'm going to, I'll fly into the tail, make sure the tail's not filling with water. Okay. Okay, let me fly into the tail, make sure the tail's not swamped with water. All right, good, so that seals. All right, so this area I'm not going to let you come into anyways. Um, all right, so that fills us up with water. That gives us our, um, our ability to have fuel. That's not too bad um, weight-wise there. And I can still cut out some weight if I need to. I can cut out a battery here and have plenty of mass. I think I'm going to do that. Let's preemptively cut out a battery. Let's take these blocks here, go like that. That will give us more stern ballast. That will get rid of a bunch of the, um, yeah. All right, let me see. i got to make sure this will sink us now. What are my? T what are these set to? That's set to 100. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm worried about running into some issues here with, um, we can still play with this and get this to work. Um, all right. Yeah, so uh, we're going to still be adding weight to this. So we're close to neutral buoyancy. As we add weight, um, we'll focus on adding it to the front. And we're close to neutral buoyancy now, so... We're at 100% ballast tank water now. I just need to um, try to get the weight up a little bit, which is not a big deal. I can do that. I have some trickies we can do there, um, like this here. Um, nope, that can't go there. Uh, we can do some things. The you know the ballast water is. Um, let's let me see what a battery weighs compared to what um, weight blocks weigh. So presently we have 252553 two, 2453 so 2553 let's see if i can beat 2553 with some weight blocks stuffed in the in the front here yeah by quite a bit okay and that gets us going we're a little nose heavy now of course we are. But that's actually really easy because we just um, put some here. See if I can counteract that with some. See if I can counteract that like that. Alright, so what are we? 
That's tail. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Once we get it out and moving, we can see if the if the nose is is trying to head down or up. But we can sync it again, so that's good. So you can see tiny little things we could do just fixed fixed our issues. Um, all right. Uh, we also have some things we're gonna do like add skids. So let me add some skids really quick. Um, What do rocket pieces weigh? I kind of want them to be a little bit. Five mass. What's a pipe weigh? One. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of kind of favor the front a little bit here. the way that looks um, let me see I wish we you know the I love the large size of the rocket pieces for making like um, for making um, essentially you know they're like big pipes but um, you know you just don't have any angle pieces so that's kind of more what I want is that on the end there which is not bad I could fix that here so that's gonna add some weight in the front um, also, just add some weight in general for us. Yeah, again, we have a lot of detail, and you know, a lot of the stuff is going to look pretty ugly in the beginning, and then as we kind of work with it, we'll hopefully get better. So these are going to be what we sit on. Yeah, you know, we don't want to sit on the belly. We want to kind of have some skids to be able to sit on the ground on. Okay, that's good. All right, so oh, why? I hate it how it does that. If it's in the build area, we should be able to recall it without having to swim down. All right, so you know, I'll clean this up. I need to make that look better. I can use some XML pipe pieces. All right. Um, again, it, it's looking ugly at the moment, but again, we haven't colored it. We haven't hooked up a bunch of the stuff. Uh, why is this not? If you're telling me this is merged and that's not counting the weight, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, so let let me uh, empty the ballast tanks. Let me. Okay, come on, man. I'm. It's just it gets old. I'm gonna swim down to get the build because it's not. It's not recalling what's in the build area. Okay, here we go. All right, perfect. So we we can float and we so we can do both um, positive buoyancy where we float and we can also do neutral buoyancy where we neither float nor sink. We can also do negative buoyancy where we sink. Those are all the things we want with that tiny bit of water volume. Okay, I would like to work on the, um, I don't want to build a modular right now. I want to work on this. Um, let's start putting in some uh, of our control stuff. All right, do I make this more complicated than it needs to be? I think I do. So let's look at the center of mass. Center of mass is here. We want center of thrust ideally at the center of mass, which is here. All right, so we want our pushers there. Um, let me work on, okay, I'm trying to think how I want to do the vertical propellers. I think I'm going to just do them simple little um, small props. Okay, so let's find the center of gravity. Let's paint it pink here. It's between these two blocks here. I think it's, let's get close here. It's leaning back towards the back a little bit. I think it's right around here. Oh, get out of here, color swap. Okay, so let's say this here is our center of grill. I want the height right, too. So right there. Okay, so that's our CG, and that's where we want our center of thrust to be there. Um, okay, so we want to go equidistant from the center of... Um, of gravity to put in our thrusters. So I think I can go top thrusters here. Um, it's going to be a little convoluted to get there, but I think I'll be all right. Um, okay, so let's go one, two, three, four blocks away. 
Okay, one, two, three, four blocks away. Hopefully this gives us good stability. Prop. All right. My Discord's going off like crazy. One more up. Okay, and then right here. Okay, so that's gonna give us our two. I kinda wanted them on the bottom, but I'm gonna run into issues interacting with this rail that I put on there, so, um, and I don't want to hit them on the bottom, so that's fine. Um, they're going to be mostly operate, oh, that's perfect. They have no interaction problems. That's awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I didn't want to have to, like, I didn't want to have to loop the pipes down and then back up to connect. I just wanted to be able to, why is my Discord going off like crazy? Let me see. Let's go. Oh, why aren't you turning? I'm hitting the button, but it's not doing it, which is getting old. Okay, there we go. Let's put another one here. Okay, that's done there. Let's put some of the blocks back in there. Okay, good. Now we can hook our motors up. All right, so these should be have to be inverted because the props are going to be operating in reverse. Okay, so we have four motors for these. That's going to push us down. They're um, equidistant from the center of gravity, which should keep this nice and flat. All right, so that is um, so that's going to be uh, up down. All right, so next thing we want to do, let's work on our. Um, I don't want to do a ton of fins, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. Uh, further complication <laughs> as usual and let's take out that whole section there do a pivot a power pivot uh, power pivot okay power pivot um, it doesn't matter where the pipe goes because we're not going to use the pipe okay and then we want to do props and we want to do these azimuth thrusters here all right so there are our azimuths and now those can go at an angle. That's going to control our pitch instead of fins. I'm going to do it with asthma thrusters. Do I want to pitch this one? I was thinking earlier I didn't. Um, I might not pitch this. I was thinking before I don't want to pitch this, so I'm not going to pitch this actually. I'm going to make this so it's um, so it doesn't pitch at all. And what you'll do is you'll uh, you'll kind of do like a spaceship. You'll go forwards, back, you'll translate forward, back, left, right, up, down, and then not have any um, actual side to side motion um, or have any actual, um, eventually I'll think of the word, um, have any pitch component to it. Okay. Um, how many blocks is that from the center of gravity? That is one, two, three. Six. What does six on this side look like? That's seven. Oof. Kind of want to do seven because I think actually I have weight blocks there. I no no no. no. I think I'm gonna just. I don't want to tempt fate too much with this here. Don't want to tempt the fates too much here. Um. Alright, so go like that. Let's try this, see if it if it misbehaves. Alright. So that's so you know, ideally I could do it with one, but the issue is um I wanna have enough I wanna have enough thrust to um to do. Alright, so let's start working on these. Oh that's right right there where I don't want it to be. Let's do bigger ones here. I, I don't like the look of these littles. Do I do all big asthma thrusters? I think I do. This is getting pretty beef. So this is a pretty beefcake at the moment, so I don't want it too small. And this, of course, is going to cause me grief there. Uh, let's get rid of this rail business here. We'll come up with a better solution here. <clears throat> I 
It's always funny where the um, where the save goes for the undo button. Okay, these are going to stick past anyways. Let's stick with small props here. Um, this here is seven. And then this is the wall, so I want that to be that. And then I'm going to put a prop here. So let's have it stick out one block. That's fine. Um, then seven is actually here. I want those equidistant so we're not torquing. Not twerking, torquing. Like that. That's going to be better, I think. Um, what's right in this wall here? Perfect. Okay, motor here. And then we got to play a game to get the other motor set up for the um, for here. Okay, um, it's not too bad actually. Just moving. Just getting rid of one weight block. That's not going to be the end of the world. Okay, and then that hides that in there. All right, so that gets us our, so I'm going to not rely on pitch. I want this thing level the whole time. Um, and so I'm going to use, so, so the way I'm going to keep this level is asymmetrical thrust with these. So the front two, if it gets out of level, so I'm going to put a um, tilt sensor in here. These are going to go up, these will go down to keep us level at all times. Um, these will translate us left and right, these side ones, and these will push us forward and back, these main ones. Okay, so let's, um, let's get going here, um, and see what we're, what we're at. Um, I want to just start getting moving a little bit. All right, so WS is going to be forwards. All right, um, we're going to, I'm just going to do some just going to do a couple function blocks for what needs to be reversed here. I'm just going to do two here um, in anticipation of needing to reverse some stuff. So negative x, negative x logic. Okay, so um, I know the up-downs are going to be reversed. So where are we at here? Um, up-down is definitely going to be reversed. I already know that. So um, where are they? This is up-down. That's an up-down. That's an up-down, that's an up-down. All right, and then I don't know about my translation ones, so at the moment I'm just going to connect them left-right directly, and we'll see how they push us, and then uh, we'll test that really quick and see. And if they, well, why did I connect those? Who knows? And I have yet to connect these, so that's what I was trying to do. All right, there we go. Let's go connect these like that. Let's do motors here. And that's going to be our um, our WS for going forwards and back. Um, let me try to get neutral buoyancy. So let me just put in a really quick pumping system. Okay, I'm going to do it really simple here. Do it. Do it. Uh, I'm just going to do multiple pumps and then I'll uh, just do multiple pumps and then later I'll uh, I'll make it a little bit more um, complicated. All right, so that's going to be out. This is going to be in. All right, so this is for just for managing our ballast. And so I'm going to delete out the um, spawners. And then these need fluids on the ends of them. Like so, like so. Okay, that will take them in and out. Uh, let's see, I need seat control. One is going to be ballast in. Um, that's currently, they're both currently working to push out. I need to fix the front ones. Okay, so this one here is going to be in, so I need to merge that. Okay, and this one here needs to be the other way around. Okay, so let's see if I can get this going here. I want to just get it moving. All right, so good. We are positively buoyant. We are floating. That's beautiful. That's what we want.
Let's jump up. Please jump up. Thank you. All right, we're going to need to jump in a little bit here. See, we can't crawl on wedges. Open our cockpit. Okay. Infant electricity should be on. It is now. Okay, good. Let's go forward. So uh, we'll go in third person. Uh, w. Didn't connect it. Of course I didn't. I did connect it. Why is it not working? Did I just not have enough patience to wait for it or what? They're connected. Okay. Infinite electricity is on. What's this? WS goes to the back ones. Yep, that's correct. Left, right is going to be controlling those side ones. That's fine. Up, down is going to be controlling the inverted ones, which is all four of those. Okay, let me see. Maybe I just rushed too much and didn't give it a second to go. Okay. Okay, there's nothing working. Seat's not connected to the floor. Okay, that will do it every time. Don't connect the seat, nothing works. All right, so I kind of like the size. It's um, nice and bulky, but it has the features I want, which is I want a, an airlock. All right, so now we, we're not going to be able to steer um, because I haven't added asymmetrical thrust yet, but we can translate left. So these are in opposition, so they're working against each other, so I need to find which side's doing what. Okay, let me stop that. i got to figure this out here on the uh, side ones. All right, so these are in opposition. They are both going backwards. So to go left, I want... I want the left ones backwards. I want the... Um, starboard side ones to not be in uh, the starboard side ones should not be inverted okay logic starboard side ones here are okay the starboard sides are being inverted those should not be inverted those should be directly okay good let's try this now see if that works okay let's just try going left right Okay, why? Okay, I have weird stuff connected here. Okay. All right, so this here is, I can't tell at the same time. This here is an up down, this is an up down. Okay, these, all these here should be inverted up downs. Okay, this is my inversion signal. This should be up down, and this should be up down. Those are the, these four should be up downs. Okay, I screwed this up already. Okay, that's fine. Okay, these are the ones that I want. So left, right. Left, right should be this one here. And where's the other one? This one here should, oh, come on, man. I need to take a break here. I'm getting grouchy. That one there. Okay, these here. What the hell is that going to? Okay, let me just disconnect these here for left rights. Okay. This let me disconnect this side. Let me see. Oh, come on, man. You're killing me here. Just making this so difficult to get anything done. Every time I try to click on something, I click on something else. Okay, let me just test one side and then see what needs an inversion. I'm thinking the um, port side needs an inversion. All right, so let's go left. All right, so the starboard side needs an inversion. Port side's fine. Okay, starboard side needs an inversion. So this one here should be set to inversion already. Okay, starboard needs inversion. Okay, so left, right. The port does not need an inversion. Starboard needs the inversion. This should go to the starboard. Let's make sure I pick the right ones. 
this one and this one. Let's test it. Okay. I'll go ahead and close the hatch because I think we're getting close to where I need to be here. All right, let's go outside. All right, so we're going to do yaw with asymmetrical thrust of those big thrusters. So let's go left. As you can see, we're translating left, pushing left. It's, you know, we're not going to be going this fast. I'm going to limit them, of course, but... Um, All right, so I don't have any yawn yet. Let's start adding ballast water. So I'm filling my tanks here. I pressed one, which is filling ballast tanks. Should have put a gauge just so I could see it, but we should hopefully start to see this sinking here in a second. If I didn't hook it up, I'm gonna have a fit. And it looks like it's rolling, so. Before this causes me problems, I'm going to just preemptively fix this. So, are you merged, everybody? That's going in. That's going out. Is everybody merged? That's going in. That's going out. Everybody's merged. Let's check it. One is ballast in. Two is ballast out. Put some meters in here. On a meter on a, either side. Okay, let's put a dial on either side. All right, dial on either side. Logic, let's go value to display to fluid, not capacity. Let's do fluid level, please. Let's do fluid level here. All right, now let's try to sink this sucker. It's tough without a gauge because I don't know what it's doing. All right, we're filling both sides. This side, ready. Uh, this side is filling up 26. This side's not filling up as much. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why are you not filling up? And you are filling up. Let's fly in there and see what's up. Okay, this is not filling. Why are you not filling? Okay, that side doesn't fill. This side should be. F what? Why is why is this not filled with water? <laughs> What's going on here? <sighs> All right. Everything merged. Everything is merged. I don't get this. Why this isn't filling with water? All right. So that's going in there. Okay, that's going in there. That's hitting the fluid pump. That should be our out. Okay. Out is two. In is one. Let's not even bother. Oh, I hate doing that. Okay, that's going to the fluid level. That's going to fluid level. Make sure my spawners aren't in there anymore. I don't want spawners in there. That's meters. These are meters, right? Those are meters. Okay, what is up with these? These should just, infinite electricity is on. You should have power. I, let me do this. Keep coming up with ideas as I jump in to spawn it. Window, one by three window. All right, um, let's try this again. Just gonna fly in the cockpit. I'm sick of jumping in there. It's taking me a minute to get in there every time. I should have just jumped in there. Okay. Uh, one. That's filling. See, this fills now. What? I didn't do anything. This is not. What is going on, man? I didn't do anything. I didn't change anything. This is wild. And it's also it's not filling up much. Get, you have nothing in there, dude. Why are you misbehaving? Okay. 
I'm going to take a break from this for a little bit. It's starting to frustrate me for not doing things that I want it to do. Okay, so I'm in the tank. I don't know what's up with this. Let me read this fluid meter. Okay, it can hold 2,700 liters, and it's only pumping in there. Is this on? This should be off. That's false. What is this, and what is liters per minute? And I'll go to a large pump here in a second. Okay. Is it on? It's true. It's on. Let me, put a, let me just put a large pump in there before I get aggravated. Okay, good. Okie doke. Let's take this large pump. I'm too tired to be doing this is the problem. Okay, go there, please. All right, let's go there. All right, let's get a large pump here. And this should be um, the white side going out. So we want to go U like that. This one should be the opposite white uh, Should be, yep, white side coming in. Put it on this wall, I guess. Mm, killing me here. All right, so this should be fluid out. This should be fluid in. Let's get some fluid ports. And hopefully these larges will let me fill these up. We hope. Okay, let's go. Um, one, it's going to go to here. Two, it's going to go to here. All right. Other thing is they could be too high in the water. Yeah, see, they're right above the air there. Um, that, that's probably all it is. I bet you that's what it is, is these are just sitting, these are just sitting up too high, and they're not able to suck the water. Let me try this. Try cutting these, bringing these down a little bit. So that could be it um, right there. could have been just something that simple. That's just caused me problems. Um, Because I had no problems with this before, and I just noticed they're right on the air. They're right on the water line, so they might not be getting water. Uh, yeah. Let me just try this and see if this will work for me. I need to fix that hole too, but I'll do that in a second. All right, hopefully this uh, fixes their issue. I'm just, I just want to finish this test, and then we'll call it an end for that video. And I'll take a break because I'm getting a little grouchy. I'm running into some mundane problems, so it's best to take a break and do it fresh when you can think. All right, where did I put these? Um, I don't really care about my outflows at the moment. Yeah, I don't care about my outflows at the moment. I do care about my outflows at the moment. Let me just get it done. Okay, um, let's get a... Let's get a big... I'll just do large pumps for now. Um, you know, we're going to probably end up putting large pumps in here anyways. Um, so let's just start with large pumps, and then we'll fix it later. Okay, there we go. Let's close that in there. All right, ah, uh, let's let's give this a whirl. See what we can do. Um, hopefully that will fill. It's not. It wasn't filling because the uh, fluid ports were above the water line, so they weren't in the water. So you can't take in water if they're not sucking below the water line. So let me check the front. Make sure they're yeah they're below water now. Okay. All right, let's sit in the seat and fill these up. Okay, they're going now. Yeah, we, that's fine. It was just that they're one block too high. I uh, should be able to see some water coming in here. Yep, I can see water coming in. We're sinking. Let's 
Let's fill these up all the way. I think 2,600 um, liters is where we can fill to. Shut that off. Okay, so let's start pumping out. Um, I want this neutrally buoyant. I don't want to go up or down. So 2,000 is positively buoyant. Let's go pump out. Okay, I had, uh, I had both one and two selected. Okay, two is not working. Did I not connect it? Probably not, because I'm too tired to be playing right now. And it's caused me all sorts of problems. Did I merge everything? Yeah, but I didn't put any fluid ports there, because I'm too tired to be playing right now. Okay, so let's uh, finish this up. I want to do this last test. I want it to be successful, and then I can take a break, and I'll be fresh. I can stop making easy little mistakes that are bugging me. Okay. All righty, here we go. One. So about 2,000 was positive uh, buoyancy. Let's try to go to, let's go like 1,800, see where we're at. Okay, 1891, 1895, that's close enough. All right, so we're close to neutral buoyancy there. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty close to neutral buoyancy. Let's start moving. All right, so I'm going to put limiters on all these. Um, on all these. So I'm going to take in some more water. Okay, I got I need to slow down because it's pushing my inlets above the water. So I might put I'm going to put some control fins probably to keep that from happening where it um Come on, man. Let me check the seat, see what, what I'm actually pressing here. Uh one is off. Why won't you let me fill my tanks, dude? Okay, um, let's start moving here. All right, so we're working. On, we're we got a good proof of concept here. I'm gonna need to have some fins, I think, just to maintain ourselves. Um, you know, and they'll cook those to a pit so they keep our um, a stable. All right, so we'll work on that next time. Uh, put in some stability fins. We, we're going to need that to keep us from doing this bobbing business. Um, but we've got we get a lot of the systems started to get moving here. So I'm going to move these all the way down so they're definitely in the water. Um, start getting working on the systems. We don't have any yaw control, so I need to put in a microcontroller so I can cause these to also do yaw. Um, that's going to go in there. Um, you know, So that's something to add. Um, you know, do asymmetrical thrust for yaw there. Um, add some fins so that we can control our, um, you know, I don't want this to to actually pitch itself, but I want it to maintain level at all times. And so I can also use these, but that's going to use up electricity. Uh, it's going to use up a bunch of electricity. Actually, I might just do these to control our pitch. Um, I'll have to decide. But... Um, but yeah, so that will, that's what we'll do in the next episode. Uh, I'll take a little break here and try to get refreshed. And um, yeah, it was just getting a little frustrating there trying to trying to figure some of these things out. Brain's not working, and so it just makes it tough. So um, yeah, we'll get back into it when I'm fresh, and um, hopefully we can get this to the point where it's functional and we can actually take it out and use it. So that's what we're hoping. So next one, hopefully, be the last build video before we can get going. All right, thanks for watching.